Okay, so hey guys, it's Red Lace, and today I am playing Chroma Gun. It is a Steam game, currently part of the Steam Summer Sale, and it was gifted to me uh, to give it a go to play, and I really am enjoying the opportunity from the developer, Pixel Maniacs, who uh, is giving me the opportunity to play this game. So thank you, Pixel Maniacs. I really appreciate the uh, chance to get to play your game, and um, I'm playing blind, so we're going to get going in the first two hours and see what this game's all about. Yeah, I don't know if it's controller compatible or not, I will find out, but Chroma Gun is like a first-person shooter puzzler game, and fans of Portal will find themselves right at home here. It um, has a very similar look, and uh, I hear it's really fun, so I'm really looking forward to it. So let's get started. So we're going to just go straight into start game, and uh, see if I have to play with my keyboard and mouse, which could be interesting. <laughs> Awesome, Vars. Yeah, I'm glad you did. Okay, so here we are, it looks like. Can I move my controller? Oh, I can. Hey. Welcome to Chromatech. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the Chromatech Test Lab. You're here Ooh. because you're the best of the best. Not because you were in need of 10 bucks and nobody else signed up. <laughs> Before we start, we need to test your general mobility. Make your way down the corridor towards the exit door. Note that the exit is the part of the wall that looks different from the other parts of the wall. Also, it says exit. <laughs> I love the elevator music, and I love the smart-ass commentary. <laughs> it's great. Hey, bad toucan, how's it going? Yeah, so this does look very portal. Especially the smart-ass voice. So, uh, we go down here, I guess? Controller is very touchy-touchy. Maybe I could have set that up in the settings, but I didn't look, so... Hey, look, I found the exit! Yay for me! Oh, what just happened? Okay, maybe I should check the settings real fast. <laughs> Settings, music, sound effects, mouse sensitivity. Let's turn that down. I'm very anti quick movements. <laughs> Subtitles, okay. Back, resume. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Color attraction, worker droids. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Okay. <laughs> Fire. Sensational. Please pick up the semi-automatic nano-acrylic projectile firearm right in front of you. Thank you for the follow, Everton Blues 15. You are fantastical. Welcome to the stream. Shoot. Okay. We're grabbing this the gun. Is the Chroma Gun patent pending? So yeah. You can it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. We here at Chroma Gun know how to keep secrets, and so should. Paint the worker drawer to move it out of the way. Then exit the room using the room exiting technique you've learned in the previous room. <laughs> the room exiting technique. That's lovely. When did I start using face cam fars? Um, I've had it for, what, like a month and a half, I think? Yeah, I've had it for a while. <laughs> a while ago, for sure. Wish you could pause Windows updates, but you can't, so we'll see you guys later. Okay, Bat, we'll see you when you get done updating. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's been a while, Fars. Okay, we're painting the droid. Achievement right in the head. Yay. Uh, my aim's amazing. <laughs> so we gotta shoot this one, too. My sensitivity is just off the charts. Might need to turn it down a little more. Could be my controller. <laughs> Probably is. Well, this one's already yellow. But it's in my way. Can I shoot you to get out of the way? Shoot the wall panel? Oh, look at that. Okay. Cool. It's totally my controller. My left stick keeps turning the direction. So this wall is different than the rest, so it's clearly you paint the one that looks a little different and it pulls it towards it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, thanks, Matt. Yeah, I redid my overlays uh, yesterday and I, I really like these. I think these work for me. I think I'm going to stick with this. For a while, see how it goes. <laughs> Ever-changing layouts. 
Always room to improve, right? <laughs> I like the music. Sensational. Sensational. Please walk towards the exit again. We're confident you've acquired all the necessary skills to complete this simple exercise. Okay, so he's blocking my way. There's another one. Ugh. Pull, my little droid. I don't see a yellow one in here. I could move him over there. Okay. Very puzzly, this game. I like it. So far, I like it a lot. Okay. I like the sound the gun makes, too. How fun is it? <laughs> Three more followers till 900? I know, Toucan. We're getting so close to 900 followers. So awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> All right, see you later, Fars. Have a good one. Thanks for coming by. Chroma Gun Fires is a specially developed blend of partially semi-lethal, dangerously radioactive isotopes, and will paint any surface not designed not to be painted by it. That being said, please do not sniff, touch, or especially lick the paint. Oh, I can't lick the paint? Darn. <laughs> These doors are so tiny. Go, little ball, go. Oh, look at him move. <laughs> Looks like I can move this one anywhere. The whole room's paintable. Oops, oops, oops. We'll get it. Well, that didn't work. There's a whole row of them. What the heck? Let's get them all out of the way. Okay, that worked. Now we can get through the door. Over there. Yeah. We're on a roll. <laughs> you want to lick the paint too, can I know, right? <laughs> You're hoping you can lick the paint to see if it's lemon flavored. <laughs> lemon meringue flavored? <laughs> Thanks for the host, Raven. How's it going? Please step into the what I missed that. Please do not Achievement. To ensure the continued opening of the exit door. Oh, tricky. Okay, so that thing, if it's on the platform, it keeps the door open. Hey, we're learning new stuff. Ooh, or banana flavored. Yeah, mm, banana. I would love a banana milkshake right now. You have successfully understood the correlation between triggers and worker droids. That makes you more intelligent. Then 39% of test subjects. <laughs> yes! 97% of test monkeys. Oh, yes! I'm smarter than 97% of test monkeys. Yay! <laughs> Glad you made it, Raven. How's it going? How you doing today? Well, this one's easy. It's like right next to it. Open my door. Yeah. Oh, this one looks a wee bit trickier. Okay. Have to get some aim on. I really need to turn the sensitivity down, I think. Well, I can't stand there and here at the same time. Can we get it to come this way? Oh, okay, it opened this door. That's all we needed. Okay. My bad. <laughs> Have to run to stake and shake and pick up a banana milkshake for you. It'd be melted by the time it reached you. <laughs> Oh, but it sounds so good. We have a, a burger master right next to us that has really good banana milkshakes, too. Uh, I could totally go for one. Another storm brewing, Raven? Yikes. You've had a lot of storms lately. It's a bummer. Yeah, speaking of storms, Chronic, did you ever end up having a tornado yesterday after the alarms the were going off? The chroma gun's paint generates is based on a very complex set of mathematical vector operations. So instead of not understanding me explaining it to you, try it out now. 
what? Oops. Okay. I don't see what he's talking about with the colors. Like, I can change colors? Ooh, I can zoom. Hello. Ineffective achievement unlocked. <laughs> okay. Um, hello, crazy yellow ball. It's not coming to the color. There we go. Pull, my pretty. Okay, two doors. Cool. It was a bad sensor that kept making them go off. Oh, geez. So everybody thought there was a tornado and there wasn't one. That's that's unfortunate. Oh, this one looks a little trickier. Okay. Why is my controller so jacked up right now? <laughs> well, that wasn't so tricky. <laughs> Still took top cover just in case, found it odd since sirens were going off and the weather station wasn't mentioning anything. That is weird, yeah. Well, at least you figured out, and probably a good thing there it wasn't a tornado. That unlike the ones you've encountered in the previous rooms, the worker droids in this next room are not deactivated, but hibernated. Uh oh. Much like you and me. They do not take kindly to being shot at with paint pellets. Please do not disturb them. Because even though they're not designed to kill you upon contact, due to miscommunication and engineering, they will. <laughs> Epic! They're deadly droids. Can I bounce on the couch to get an achievement? Is this a thing? No. It should be a thing. I should be able to bounce on the couch. Borderlands style, you know, jump on all the couches, get an achievement. Should be a thing. <laughs> you got a gift from your family? I'll have to share it with you later when you get the kick out of it. Oh, cool, Chronic. Yeah, you'll have to tell me about it. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's very Portal S Graven. Yeah, that's what I've heard too, and uh, I totally feel the same way. Okay, so this is one of the evil ones. We don't want to piss it off. I'm gathering, so we're gonna walk around it. <laughs> but we somehow have to get it over here. Okay, maybe we just get out of the way. We shoot it, get it over here. Okay, are we ready? It's gonna chase us, I bet. Oh, it's pissed! Ah! Come here, my pretty! Okay, now it's... Okay, when it gets within distance of the wall, it'll stop chasing us. Good to know. <laughs> I should tell the devs to get an achievement? Yeah, I should, huh? Pixel Maniacs, please make the couches jumpable. <laughs> you could make a request, Clark, from my Steam group for games you want to see me play. So if you want to see me play Roblox, you can make requests there. Hi, Megan! Glad you're able to sneak in for a while. Yeah, to inform you that standing still Achievement! Yeah, welcome to Chromatech. <laughs> the uh -oh. color of guns paint can be mixed on canvas. If you remember your time in kindergarten, that <laughs> should be easy. If you don't remember or you never actually went to kindergarten, you may attend a Chromatech seminar on subtractive color mixing for preschoolers at the end of the test. <laughs> yes, new achievement, the red lace couch jumping achievement. Yes, it should totally be a thing. Everybody should message Pixel Maniacs and we should make it a thing. <laughs> okay, so mixing colors. I don't see... Oh, okay, so just because it's red, I'm adding yellow, it turns orange. I thought my gun was going to have like two different paint colors, but I guess not. This game's hilarious, I love it. <laughs> okay, so that one's orange, so you can make it orange. If I add yellow to the blue, it'll go to the green one. Yellow to the purple, that one just make it mad, I think. 
This one's brown. I can't even shoot it. What's this? There hasn't been a wall like that. Well, I guess I'll just try to shoot that one. Nothing happens? Oh, look at that. I made it brown, and so it went to the purple one because it doesn't like brown. Cool. Okay. This is neat. <laughs> that one looks deactivated. Okay. Ooh. I know that one's going to get angry at me as soon as I shoot it, so there we go. We'll just not. That one's got orange. We got this color mixing thing down. What? what? That one looks mad. So we want to deactivate this wall so it'll go to the right. Perfect! Perfect! We're doing it. Brown. Gross. Oh, look, now I have numbers on the left side. One, two, three. To continue the test, please acquire Ooh. the upgraded tricolor chroma gun. Okay. As without it, you would not be able to solve the subsequent rooms and eventually succumb to hunger. Well, now I got the fancy ones. I think I made it through the basic introduction. You guys are enjoying the stream today. Please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live Monday through Friday, starting at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. And I'd like to thank again Pixel Maniacs for giving me the opportunity to play this game today for Wishlist Wednesday. Thank you so much. And if you haven't checked out this game, it is available on the Steam Summer Sale, so do take a look at it. Oops. Oops. Technical difficulties. <laughs> New gun hype? Yes. How do I switch the colors, though? How do I switch the colors? Okay. Alright, so I'm using the controller. So up is yellow. So Y is yellow, X is blue, and B is red. How, how appropriate is that? Ooh, preschooler. Achievement unlocked. I'm making colors, yo. Which is pretty nice, because if you look at the controller, it makes perfect sense. Like, the red button is red, the blue button is blue, and the yellow button is yellow. I mean, awesome job, devs. Awesome job. <laughs> I'm making colors. It's like the rainbow. Skittles. Okay, now it's probably going to get more complicated. Moving right along. So we want to make you yellow. You go that way. And now we have to think about this. We can't just shoot. Hey, Phoenix! How's it going? We want to make this one red. Oops. And this one blue. Swanky door opens. Voila! <laughs> I have hiccups. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at all the pretty colors. So we need to make orange. So we're going to make it yellow. It's going to go over there. And then we're going to make it red. And it'll pull it into the orange corner. Okay. So we'll go to the... Oh! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I angered it. I just angered it. Ugh. Go away, ball. I didn't mean to upset you in such a way. Ah! <laughs> it's totally gonna get me! I can't get away from it. I don't know what to do. 100 shots achievement. It won't change colors. Oh no! All right, see you later, Megan. Have a good one. Okay. It's just gonna kill me. That's all there is to it. Achievement unlocked, no hugging. <laughs> if you want helpful worker droids to aid you with the completion of this chamber, these aren't the worker droids you're looking for. 
Oh, look at that. Star Wars references. I love these people. <laughs> okay. Orange. I think I get it now. We have to paint the walls purple because it's clearly purple and loving it. So we're going to make some red action going on, followed by some blue. There we go. <laughs> I got this. Don't worry. <laughs> Bad droid hubs are amazing. <laughs> hey Tia, how's it going? Welcome back today. How are you doing? Okay. This one wants to be blue and green. So if we do it yellow, it's gonna go over there. And then we'll add some blue. And we'll just get it right between there. Yep. Awesome. Oh, okay. This one's got more going on. There's only one thing I need to get it on. Oh, no, there's three. Shoot. Okay, so this one needs to be purple, I'm thinking. That one needs to be orange. Let's do that one first. Chase me over here. There you go. Orange first. Hey, Blue is a... Remember you in the comments? Um, the comments here or on YouTube? I try to remember everybody, but I have been sick this week, so my brain might be a little fogged. Okay, we want to make some green on this wall right here, it looks like, because that one's green. So, there you go. And we want to make you purple. Oh no. No, 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 no. There we go. Hey! I like all the colors. Like, it's got a really good feel, this game, because of how clean the environment is. It it really lends itself well to the, uh, the gameplay, I think. I don't see a platform in here to open the door. I guess it's just an empty room. YouTube commented yesterday. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday was uh, pretty busy on YouTube. I was pretty happy about that. Lots of people checking out stuff. It's cool. I am teaching everybody the amazing world of colors today. <laughs> and there will be a test for everyone at the end of the stream. <laughs> yes. Okay. We got two doors and one wall. And it looks like... It's red, so we're gonna make the wall red. And then we're gonna piss this thing off so it chases us. Come and get me, buddy. There we go. There we go. You hate Tess? <laughs> I don't like Tess either, was a I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Okay, so we need to put these on some walls, so let's make that one blue, or red, I guess. We'll make that one purple. Um, purple. We'll make this one blue. We'll make this one green. And we'll make the last one orange. Oops. Ta-da! <laughs> Okay. Open sesame. Brown. They're all brown. It's not getting pulled in. Why? Holy bananas! Ah! I think this just took me backwards. I'm lost. Why isn't it going to this wall?
Doesn't it seem like it should be going over here? It gets brown. What do I do? Go to your home, ball. It's brown. Get away from me. What, does the whole room need to be brown? I mean... <laughs> I don't understand. This room doesn't make any sense. I don't get this one. I made a, the brown. Yeah, I'll just need to think about this for a minute. <laughs> Remember, if you want helpful worker droids to aid you with the completion of this chamber, these are not the worker droids you're looking for. <laughs> What's nine by five in the capital of Egypt? Not taking quizzes, Clark. I'm playing video games. <laughs> if you want help with your homework, I, this is not the the castle you are looking for. <laughs> yeah, it's very similar to Portal, was it? Yeah, it's got a lot of the same feel look-wise, but it, it's definitely a different game. Maybe it's not going to the wall because you angered it? That could be. Maybe I shouldn't shoot it. Hey, Ever Twitch! Okay. So we're back in this one. We gotta do red. So we're gonna open this. Get it to chase us. Okay. So, orange. Green. Blue. And purple. Okay. Why doesn't it go over there? Do I have to like bait them over? None of them are moving. Why won't you move? Why did my game just pause? Thank you for the follow, Heisting. You are fantastical me. Yeah, welcome to the stream. You have no homework? Why does my game keep pausing? That's very weird. Okay, well, I'm turning them all brown because I don't understand. Like, we've made it brown, but this one's not moving. None of them are moving. Is there only one that I can move? They all look to be the same. That one looks a little darker than the rest. Could be from hitting the panels too fast, yeah. Well, let's hope this one works this time. It's still not working. It's like avoiding it. I don't get it. Anybody have any ideas? Any ideas? Open to suggestions right here because the brown is not working. Just 
just open the frickin' door. Maybe I need to just get them all to chase me? Why not? If we get them all over here in, like, unison, maybe one of them will open the door for us? <laughs> ah! So confused. Oh, now I got the red one pissed off, too. Oh, they're all mad. <laughs> Maybe I should get the red one to... to get on a wall. Hey! Oh, what? I'm almost thinking bringing the red one in might be the way to go. Because then I could actually pull it towards it. Yeah, we're going to try that. We're going to try bringing the red one in. <laughs> Remember, if you want helpful worker droids to aid you, this room's harder. This chamber, these are not the worker droids you're looking for. Okay, so we need the red one to open the first door so we can get in the second room. And then we'll come back for the red one when we get into the brown room. Yeah, I think it's definitely getting the red one into that spot. Purple, blue, oops, green, and orange. Okay, so I opened that door. Looks like I have to open those doors from the other side, so we're going to go back into the other room. What's the game called, Ryan? This is called Chroma Gun. Yep. Room again. Okay, so we're gonna shoot that one and get the red one to go right to it. And we'll change this one to brown or something, it doesn't matter. Just as long as this one follows. Here, kitty kitty. Yes, go to your home. Perfect! <laughs> Okay, so yellow, orange, green, and purple. Whoa. Yeah, it's a lot like Portal. Yep. It's a uh, indie game by Pixel Maniacs. Yeah, it's on the Steam Summer Sale, so you can check it out right now if you're interested in the game. So far, I really like it. I think it's a lot of fun. Okay. Um, red. I have to get this door open, and then the next door. Ooh, how do I do that? Okay, um, red. And then we're going to need to change that second one to a different color so it turns off. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we gotta bring that red one in here again. So we're gonna make that red. We're gonna change that to a different color because it doesn't matter. And then we'll get the red one to follow us by changing the color of the one behind it. Come on, red one. This one's interesting and different than the rest of the puzzle so far because you have to bring one from previous rooms, which we haven't really done before. So definitely had a little bit of a learning there. <laughs> okay. Yellow ball. 
there's the platform. And... Okay, there's yellow. Is there only one ball in here? There's a few platforms to open. Okay, um... This is one I'm actually gonna have to move around, it looks like. Can't shoot through there. So if I make that yellow... Oh, look at it go. Thank you for the host, Ryan! Okay, then we'll turn this a different color. Here we go. And now we have the orange ball. Okay, um... Get it to go out there. I think we want it right over there. So let's pull it this way, maybe? It's not pulling. Well, shoot. Just started reading the Starbound Guide. Very detailed. Oh, thanks, more. I'm glad you're enjoying the Starbound Guide. I appreciate you checking that out. Hey, White Owl! Uh, you can host Clark by putting a forward slash host space and then Red Lace Gaming into your chat on your own channel. Okay, um, I don't, I can't get this one to go back to a different color because I've already mixed it. Yeah, it's going to go brown on me. Shoot. Maybe if I turn this color brown. Why don't you go over there? It's orange. It's pretty. You like it. There's a wall. Okay, I missed this one. There we go. That's the one I was missing. And then we'll change this one to a different color. Okay, and then we got blue. And this one's angry. So, <laughs> whoa. Oh, well, now I did it. Now I'm trapped in here. Shoot. Um, I think I messed it up. Yeah, because now I'm not going to be able to get it out. Yeah, I totally messed this one up. Is there like a redo? <laughs> I need a redo, guys. Restart. <laughs> Thanks for the host, Clark. Okay, let's restart level. <laughs> what are you supposed to do in this game, White Owl? You're supposed to try to get to the exit. And it's a first-person shooter puzzler, and so you have to turn the balls to the color and change the wall panels to guide the balls to the platforms to open the door to get to the exit. Okay, so yellow. So we need to turn only the plat or the colors that we absolutely need to to get this to work. So do that. This one's orange, so we want to do red. And then we're gonna add red to the panel out there to guide it outward. And then we're gonna turn this one red. And there we go, okay. So then we need blue. So we want blue out here and right there. And we want to get out of the way as soon as we fire this one. Okay, so now that I got that blue, I guess we could add, we don't know. How do we get that one to come out?
How's my evil Jojo character in Stardew Valley, Blue is a, uh, It's doing fine, yeah. I played it on Monday. If you missed the stream, you can check it out over at my YouTube channel at Red Lace Gaming. This game for PC, Ryan? Yeah, it's a PC game. I'm playing it on PC right now. It's part of the Steam Summer Game Sale by Pixelmaniacs. Taco? Uh, she is busy with nursing school, Light Owl. Yeah, she's been busy with nursing school, but I'm sure we'll see her some more soon. This one's green. Can I make this guy green? Let's try that. Okay, now I've upset it. Okay, that's the trick. Okay. Hey! Then we'll turn this to whatever. We did it, guys! Exit! Woohoo! <laughs> Yeah, it's a she. Her name's Hope. Taco. I miss Taco, too. She's a lovely gal. <laughs> Alright. It's a blue ball. We need it to come with us. So let's shoot it. We'll just guide it along the walls, I think. Change that. There we go. There we go. Hey. Yellow. It's the same thing over here. We're just going to guide it along the walls, change the colors as we go so it turns off. Yellow. Thank you for the follow, Snowy Girl. You are fantastical. Snowy Girl is our newest member of the Crimson Co-op as of today, so give her some hugs. She uh, joined this morning right before the stream, so we're going to get her added to uh, the co-op this afternoon. Pretty exciting stuff. If you want to be part of the Crimson Co-op, type in exclamation crimson in a chat to find out how. You get all sorts of fantastical perks. 119 fantastical hugs. Yay! Okay, red. Red, red, red. My favorite. <laughs> okay, red. Come around the wall there, red ball. It's like, meh. There we go. Finally it moved. There we go. Orange. Gotta get it into here. Well, there's a green one, too. So... Oh, there's two. Okay. So let's do green one first. Get it over there. And then, can I shoot that wall? I think I have to guide it around. Oops! Shoot! No, I don't want to open the game bar. <laughs> Stupid Xbox controller. Um... So we want to get that one to stop. So it goes there. Okay, one's open. If I want to get started with Roblox, you get into the room with three games that I love because Rose Citizen's Natural Disaster. Okay, orange. So go that way. And then we're going to do this one the same because I'll put it in the middle. And then we'll do that one should work. Okay. Perfect. Exit! Yay! <laughs> so if you guys are enjoying the stream today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live Monday through Friday, starting at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. 
can also visit my website, redlacegaming.com, where you can download free indie guides. And if you'd like to help support me and my channel, I'm currently working towards getting my Xbox Live Gold membership renewed. And uh, if you'd like to help me out with that goal, I'd really appreciate it. You can do that by making a donation through my website or through the Twitch channel at the info panel at the Donate Now button. And also keep in mind, uh, you could join the Crimson Co-op, which is a donation of at least $10, and you get all sorts of fantastical perks, and it directly supports the channel. So if you'd like to help me out, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, again, thank you today to Pixel Maniacs, the developer of of Chroma Gun, who has given me the opportunity to play this game today for Wishlist Wednesday. I am really enjoying it so far, and I look forward to continuing playing it. Okay. Alright, so we got a blue ball. We have a white ball, so I can color it whatever I want, and a red one. Okay. And there's three, so we need to get these three open, but we have to get this one out of this room first, so we can get all three balls. So we need to make this one probably red. So let's let's do this, and it'll eventually be our purple ball, and that one will be our green. So red will open the door, and then how do we get you out of there? Um, Maybe if we shoot that wall, and then we'll upset it. Okay. And then we're going to give this one another shot of orange. And then we'll change this one so it goes away. Okay. And then we want a shot of blue to turn it purple. So it goes over there. And then we just need this one to go green. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> hey, Pinvision, how's it going? Looks like you uh, spelled crimson wrong, Clark. C-R-I-M-S-O-N, if you're looking to do that command. Yeah, it's a little bit like Portal. I mean, the environment kind of looks similar to Portal, but the gameplay is definitely different. I mean, you do have a gun that you're shooting, um, not portals anymore, but colors. So it does have a, a bit of inspiration from Portal for sure. Okay, well that door is broken. And, uh, oh, here's the door it opened, okay. There's the exit. Yay! <laughs> it's got pretty good music, too, the game. I enjoy the music. Okay, so again, we have to bring one out of a room. We have to bring three out of a room. So we have this guy. Um, we could do whatever color to open that door. So let's paint him yellow. Then we got blue, and we need to bring the blue over. It can be green or purple. Looks like we're going to want to probably make it green. So, to get it out, let's do a little bit of this. Get it closer to the door. Well, that didn't work. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on out, my friend. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Uh, Mouse, it's up there for Ryan. You spelled it incorrectly the first time you tried, but it, Ryan just posted the Crimson Co-op link up top, so you can just scroll up chat a little bit and find right there. Okay. We need... Okay, now we got yellow. So let's get yellow out. Um, we have two yellows. This is a problem. 
Okay, so let's make... Let's make this one orange. Oops. Oh, I can't make it orange. It's like, nope, I'm good. Alright, fair enough. Touché. Isn't it coming out? Ouch! Jiminy Christmas! <laughs> Alright, see you later, Blue. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, now we have red. purple. So that one let me change its color. Make that one orange. This one we're going to make green. Okay. Okay. Now we can get the red one out because we're going to make it orange. So let's just upset it for a minute. So it'll chase us. Here, kitty, kitty. And then we're gonna tag it again. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Oh no! I totally messed it up! Oh, snap. Achievement unlocked. Doing it wrong. <laughs> I totally did it wrong. I messed it up. Now it's not going to do it. Can I get this yellow one to come over here? Bait the yellow one into opening the door? I can. I salvaged it. Yes! <laughs> Alright, see you later, Clark. Have a good one. This game's certainly interesting, but sadly not your forte to even attempt to play it. I can see me a little self-rage quit. Oh, that's too bad, Chronic. Yeah, it's a fun game. Okay. So, red. I have a feeling this is not the last we'll see of this red ball. Ooh, you're like insta-mad. Go over there for a minute. Chill out. Okay, so we need to make one red and one blue, or an orange. Wish you could see in there. Okay, so we're gonna get the red one to come out. Move it through this room. There we go. And then we need to make that one go blue. Which I'm not sure how we're supposed to do that. Considering I could try making it just go over there. No. This didn't open a door by itself. If I turn it orange, it could. Maybe that's what we should do, turn it orange. see if this works. We can't turn that orange. You need a brain to play which you don't have? Oh, that's not true, White Owl. <laughs> okay, um... Well, that's not gonna do me any good. How do I get you blue? Where's the blue? I should have done it red, then I could have got it orange, because I bet the blue ball's behind that door. I messed up. Let's try again. <laughs> oh. 
okay. So the red one opens this. The yellow one's very angry. We need it to open this door. And then we want to get the red one to chase us through the door. A little bit of memorization going on here. Okay, so we want to turn that one orange. I guess we could just turn it yellow and just get it to come over here. So let's just do that. There we go. Oh, angry yellow one, angry yellow one. Okay, so that opened that door. I think we actually want this one to come open that door for us. So... Come on, yellow. Can you go through there? It can't. Okay. Blue. Oh, now it can. Okay. What you doing, buddy? You wanna come hang out for a minute? Come here. <sighs> Bailey. No, no storyline that I can tell White Owl. No. Yeah, a game doesn't always need a story to be fun. I think this type of, type of game doesn't need a story at all, because it really is like a puzzle game. So, yeah, I don't think it's missing out by not having a story. I don't think it would add anything to the gameplay, based on the type of game it is. What you think, buddy? He's like, I think I want down. <laughs> Yes, he just wanted to visit. Okay, so we gotta get this yellow ball in the door. Somehow. So we wanna turn these off again. And then... I'm gonna draw it in there. Ouch! There we go. Okay, so now we need to get the blue one out of there. Okay. Blue one's angry. <laughs> Know if we can do this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we gotta get the blue one out. How do we get the blue one out? Come with me, blue. Voila! Yay! Exit! What? What? <laughs> Hey, Jenny! You wonder how Manly would react if Leo and him had a cat cam time? <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, I'd be curious. He probably wouldn't think much of it. He'd probably just be like, meh. He sees so much stuff on TV. To complete this next chamber, please step onto the deadly electrified maintenance tile. What? Why would I do that? I don't want to step on the deadly electrified maintenance tiles. Are they for real? Making Darwin proud? The exit will never be placed inside or underneath deadly maintenance tiles. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cake! <laughs> okay. Yellow. 
Achievement sizzle sizzle. Okay, so we had to get one to deactivate the deadly maintenance tiles. And then we're gonna use the next one to actually pull through. Okay, tricky. So we have to sacrifice. Sacrifice one. Sensational. Despite being ordered towards your certain death, you stay calm. And by utilizing coherent reasoning, assess the situation to find a viable solution. Congratulations are in order. Congratulations. Congratulations. Why, thank you. Okay, so we need to get that red one over to the purple wall. And it looks like the only way to do that is to go that way. I think I need to pull. Well, how would I do that? I can't change the color of the walls, but that one. I'm guessing we do that. But then how do I get the second one over? I'm gonna die! In light of recent events, we really feel the need to reiterate and emphasize the deadly electrified maintenance <laughs> tiles on the floor <laughs> below you. Those are called deadly electrified maintenance tiles for a reason. Deadly. Deadly. Get it in your head. <laughs> The problem is, though, that when you... I guess if we turn the next one purple, that's probably what you need to do. Okay. And by utilizing coherent reasoning, assess the situation to find a viable solution. Congratulations are in order. Congratulations. The voice is a robot. Okay, so we're going to turn that wall orange and then quickly turn the next one, the next ball purple. So it'll go right through. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so we want to turn that one blue, it looks like. Guide it right around. Perfect. Okay. There's anything we need to move the balls through that area, but it just turns out I need to move myself through it using the colors. Okay, these three are angry. We give some red. And then make that blue. And we'll pull this one back through so it'll keep coming. So we only need one of these doors open. There we go. Um, so let's make this one red. And this one yellow. And then we'll change the color of this one so it keeps following us. You know you want to come through the deadly wall! Yeah! That's what I thought. Okay, so then we want to change this one. So it'll keep coming. Oh, we need one more. Uh-oh. Okay. We messed up. We didn't bring one of them with us. Which one didn't we bring with us? This one. Okay, so let's try it again. Let's try it again. Okay. So... Yellow, blue, Q. 
keep them coming with us. Yellow. Blue. Okay, so the yellow one shorted that out. Oh! It's after us! Ugh. There we go. Red. <laughs> Here we go. Yay! Exit! <laughs> that one's so lovely understood, why now? I think it's just a matter of getting down the techniques, and then it seems pretty straightforward. It's just, you know, sometimes you do it in the wrong order. It seems like order is kind of important in some of the levels. And the fact that you only have a limited number of colors palettes on the wall. Like some rooms have limited palettes, so if you turn them brown, you know, you can't reverse it back out of brown. So I guess there's a couple things to kind of keep in mind. Oh, oh, my controller just kind of kept going. <laughs> it will never be placed inside or underneath deadly maintenance style. <laughs> Thank you for that voice. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's turn this one. Oh no, I wanted to turn this ball green. There we go. Yet to come. I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> Welcome back, Chronic. What did you get to eat? Okay, so we want to make that one go over there first, I think is what we need to have happen. So we want to make a red wall. make these orange here so it'll pull through so orange okay there we go now the yellow one's upset <laughs> Okay, so I gotta get this one over here without going over those. Blue, come on! There we go. all blue. Got two spring rolls, hot and sour soup, and a dumpling. Oh, that sounds pretty good. I love hot and sour soup. So good. I like it really spicy, though. <laughs> and I like when they put the actual mushrooms in it. When they don't put mushrooms in it, I get a little grouchy. <laughs> You made barbecue chicken and steak and mashed potatoes. Wow, Jenny, that sounds good. <laughs> I know, White Owl, me too. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> I 
All right, so I gotta get a ball through here, it looks like. Um, well, there's a very angry purple one on the other side there. So I need to get this guy across into here somehow. That could be difficult. Well, if I do that, the door is going to close, though. How the hell am I supposed to do this? I guess like that. Okay, so we want to do some purple and some red. Ugh. Yeah. Haha. -ha! <laughs> I did it, guys. Here's this homemade hot and sour soup that has mushrooms. Oh, that sounds delicious, Chronic. <laughs> And I bet it doesn't taste like there's a bucket of salt in it like most of the Chinese places I go to. <laughs> I had some from PF Salties a while back, and oh my god, I don't know how anyone can eat that. It's like just drinking liquid salt. Like, ew. It wasn't good. It wasn't spicy. It didn't have any of the qualities hot and sour soup should possess. It was just like brown-colored soup with salt. <laughs> it's terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Welcome back, Ryan. Yeah, White Owl, the balls can kill you. Yeah, they're angry. Some of them are angry and they will kill you. So you have to be careful. Okay, so this one... Uh-oh. Okay, we have angry balls. There we go. That was pretty easy, that room. That wasn't bad at all. Has just enough heat with light on the salt. Use a lot of veggies and a bit of pork. That sounds really good. Need to make some hot and sour soup from scratch, but it'd be way better than anything I get out and about anyway. <laughs> okay. So we have you in there. Can I just stand here? Oh, that was a bad idea because it's gonna shock it. Oh no! Oh, we wanted to pull the red one in there, it looks like. Well, I think we definitely just messed up here. Yeah, because we needed that one to open this door. Okay. Oops! <laughs> Alright, see you later, Pinvision. Have a good one. The name of the game should be Angry Balls instead of Chroma Gun Chronic. <laughs> How can you tell if they're going to kill you? They have the spikes and the electricity on them, and they'll just come at you, and they'll they'll do damage. The ones that don't kill you don't have spikes. Okay, so... I don't want that to go there, so we're going to try to bait it in this way. And keep it off that. Let's hope this works. Okay. There we go. Okay, it did. Perfect. So it opened the other door. Hmm. I thought there was going to be a second part to that, but there wasn't. Okay, so yeah, these ones aren't angry. You can tell because they don't have the spikes on them. The ones with the spikes are the ones that are going to kill you. Okay, so we need to get the balls down here without ruining them. 
And it looks like maybe just one for now. So the red one will try to move down the corridor. So we're going to just kind of go like this. There we go. Got a couple different colors going on here. So this is an angry one. Notice the spikes. <laughs> What's the music rating? I think the music's pretty good. I actually really like it. It has a it has a good combination of the music actually blending into the background enough, but it's interesting enough to not feel like it's boring, you know what I mean? Like, it's got some good beats. Like, I think it's actually really good. I really am enjoying the music. I think it goes really well with the game and the environment. I think it has a very good vibe all around. Okay, so that one looks green to me. Is it not green? It's brown. It's very, very brown. Shoot. Now it's chasing us. That was a bummer decision. It's killing me! <laughs> Playing Ring Around the Rosie with this brown ball. Oh, and I just... <laughs> For your safety, and the safety of others. Please, Oops. refrain from touching, stepping on, or rubbing your face and other body parts on deadly electrified maintenance tile. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Alright. Let's move the blue one first before we go get into that pickle again. Sounds like a better plan to me. Make these all purple since we don't need purple. Okay, now here's the tricky bit. How do we get this down the hall without it going kaboom? This is very tricky. Okay. Hey! We're doing it! We're doing it, doing it, doing it well. And it's green. We didn't get the angry ball. Hey! That's better. That's more like it. I know I was super electrocuted. <laughs> Getting more dumplings? Mmm, dumplings. <laughs> Are they veggie or meat? I'm guessing they're pork because you were talking about pork. Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn chat on today. Oops. How did I do that? My bad. <laughs> okay. I don't see any ball. Oh, there's one. Okay. It's red. Let's make it purple. Okay, 
so maybe a yellow down there. We'll bait it around. What was the other color? I need an orange one at the end. Either one can be orange, okay. Thank you for the follow, Nicholas380. You are fantastical. Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, Chronic. There are cameras on the walls? Yeah. Yeah, I did notice that. Okay, so there we got that opened. And we're gonna want the red one to not get electrocuted, so we're gonna try to pull it through the side here. Let's do that first. And that one's holding this open. Red. Okay. We'll take that one and change it so it'll come through. Shares the dumplings. Aw, thanks. Looks like Ronald McDonald over here now, doesn't it? <laughs> well, Nicholas, I was just saying thanks for the follow. Yeah. Let's turn this orange now and see if it goes through. Okay, it's not, so we need to pull it through the door. There it goes. There we go, oops. There we go. Yay! You don't really like dumplings, Phoenix? Really? I like dumplings a lot. I like a lot of Asian food. I eat, I really enjoy most of it, as long as it's not really salty. If it's too salty, I'm not really interested. Achievement! I'm just racking them up. <laughs> So if you guys are enjoying the stream today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live Monday through Friday, starting at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. And you can also visit my website, redlacegaming.com, if you'd like to help support me and my channel or download free indie guides. And um, I'm working towards renewing my Xbox Live Gold membership so I can keep playing Xbox games here on stream for you guys. Uh, so if you're interested in helping me achieve my goal, uh, you can make a donation through my website or through the Twitch channel at the info panel with the Donate Now button. And uh, you can also become part of the Crimson Co-op if you're interested in that as well and get all sorts of fantastical perks and directly support the channel, so check that out. You don't really like the texture or the taste of them? Well, fair enough, Phoenix. Yeah, if you don't like it, you don't like it. <laughs> And again, today I am playing Chroma Gun, which is by Pixel Maniacs, and I'd like to thank them for the opportunity to allow me to play this game today. And um, if you'd like to check out their game, it's available on the Steam Summer Games Sale, so give it a look-see. Oh boy, there's a lot of balls in here. Oh boy. Okay. So... I just got the green ones all through. I guess that opened those doors. I don't know if I wanted to do that. I feel you didn't want that to happen. So I think we want to change the color of the inner panels first. <laughs> oh boy balls. <laughs> well what else would you call them? Spears? <laughs> Oh, that's not what I wanted to do either. Oh man, let's start over. <laughs> oh 
Okay. So we want to make some green panel action going on here. Okay, so hopefully they all won't go boom then. And on the other side, I want to do purple. Oh shit. Oh, that's gonna totally mess it up. Wrong color. Aw, oh, man. Alright, let's try it anyway. Yeah, that didn't work. Let's see if this side works. Maybe we'll see if we have at least the idea right. It's not working. I don't get how we're supposed to do this. Okay, um... Hmm. Well, I can't shoot through that wall. Can I shoot through the wall? No. What the heck does it expect me to do here? Oh, I probably need to move to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna make this one... We're gonna move it along the back wall so it doesn't get killed by those panels. that. You almost forgot about Dark Souls 3, White Owl? Yeah, Dark Souls 3. Oh, they're coming after me. Oh, they're coming after me. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, no! <laughs> Remember, if you want to help Worker droids so it's hard with the completion of this chamber. These aren't the worker droids you are looking for. Yeah, I like Dark Souls 3. Yeah, I hope we can play more of it. Need to get that Xbox Live Gold membership renewed. <laughs> okay, um So I wonder if I can paint all those when they come through, because it seems like there's so many of them. I really don't feel like these ones have any purpose, from what I can tell. They just go through and break the wall panel, so let's just do that. Yeah, I don't see their purpose. What's their purpose in life, these ones? I don't know. You don't seem to have one from what I can tell. <laughs> okay. So... Let's go do this. Let's have a better look at this here. So we basically have four spots we need to activate. Okay. And I think now they're free, so that's bad. <laughs> to say the least. Oh, shoot! No! I forgot to turn off the first wall. What is Xbox Live Gold, Ryan? Xbox Live Gold is basically your ability to play games online on Xbox. It's like your monthly membership. You have to pay to, to play multiplayer and get access to all the good stuff. <laughs> it's about 50 bucks a year.
Okay, that's not really what I wanted to do, but all right. Okay. Now we want to move you. Oops. Over there. And we don't want this to stay on. Okay. Oh shoot, this is hard. Okay, we want one of you blue. We need one of you to be green. This one green. And then the yellow one we just need to come with us. Maybe we make it orange. That was a little chaotic. We did it though. <laughs> You're kind of good at puzzle games, you don't know why, Phoenix? Probably have a mind for it. Be good, you can help me if I get stuck. <laughs> okay, that level was hard. <laughs> okay, what do we got going here? We have purple. And green. Okay. So we're going to make you purple. And then we just need to guide you over there. Oh shoot, that's going to mess it up, I'll have to go across. Why isn't it going over there? Oh, it has to go around that barricade. How do we get it around the barricade? Go to your home, purple. Go to your home. How ridiculous. <laughs> I think I messed up. <laughs> what else are we playing today, Jenny? I'm just playing Chrome again today, yeah. You can check out my schedule anytime you want by typing an exclamation schedule in the chat and it'll pull up my game schedule for the week. You only want to play match three games because you played them as a kid. I used to play a lot of Match 3. I really like Puzzle Quest. I keep hoping they'll bring it back for Xbox uh, One backwards compatibility. So I really like that. Okay, let's try doing this. We're going to pull red all the way over and then make it purple. Let's do that. So 
red, red, um, just doesn't pull around corners. So red, can we come down here? There we go. Red. There we go. I think we got it this time. And then we want to add blue to the ball to make it purple. Yay! Okay. So, yellow. Yellow. Okay. Alright, so now we got yellow there. Guide it around, and it's green. So I'll add blue to the ball. Perfect Amundo. Exit. Yes. <laughs> Jewel Quest. I used to play Jewel Quest. Yeah, that's a fun one as well. Yeah. Can't wait for tomorrow's stream, Minecraft Story Mode Episode 5. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah, Episode 5. <laughs> Super excited. You've seen up to episode six, but you like to watch how different people would play it. Yeah, well, it should be fun tomorrow, Phoenix. Yeah, I'm, I have up to episode six. I got the Minecraft Adventures Pass. Um, so I'll be playing five and six probably in the next week. It should be fun. As you have just passed the 50% mark on completion of the test, we feel it's time to reveal a sad truth. Due to a recent slightly massive drop in Chromatech stock, we will be unable to pay you at the end of the test. Compensation what? will be handed out in the form of cheap homemade confetti. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Ruben, yeah, Ruben. Aww. Start on Friday and the co-op play date. I know, it's going to be so much fun this week. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Well, guys, that is the blind introduction to Chroma Gun, a game developed by Pixel Maniacs, and I have had a lot of fun playing it today for Wishlist Wednesday. We've hit the 50% mark, so we're going to save it for next time. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today as much as I did, and if you're interested in checking out this game, uh, you can grab it over on Steam at the Steam Summer Sale, so do give it a peek. If you're a fan of Portal, you'll probably enjoy this as well, or if you like puzzle games, it's very fun. First person puzzle shooter. So I'll be back tomorrow for some Minecraft Story Mode Episode 5 starting at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. So please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live Monday through Friday starting at 12 noon. And also visit Exit my website. Big door. <laughs> and it says Exit in big letters. E -F Thank you, game. Do you see them now? So, also visit my website, redlacegaming.com, where you can download free indie guides and help support me and my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Anything helps. And if you're interested in joining the Crimson Co-op, we have a playdate coming up this Friday at 2.30. We'll be playing some Minecraft on the Crimson Co-op multiplayer server. If you're interested in joining and don't have access, type in exclamation crimson to get info now. And uh, thanks again, Snowy Girl, their newest member of the Crimson Co-op. I'll be sending you a message to your Twitch messages inbox today, so keep an eye on that, and I'll give you all your information to get into all your fantastical perks. So thanks today, guys. It's been a lot of fun, and I hope to see you tomorrow.